hey good looking welcome to my channel in today's video we are filming in my bedroom because we will be talking about my journey as a beginner youtuber in south africa or just the beginner youtuber in general i already did my makeup off camera and i am so proud <sighs> Uh, yes so please like subscribe comment down below click on the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload in today's video we'll be going into my master plan notebook I made notes guys because you all know I can talk forever so I'm really trying to have focused to the point kind of videos especially if I'm talking and not doing makeup so I made notes so we're gonna talk about five things uh in this video we're gonna talk about why i started youtube the positives of being on youtube the struggles of being on youtube the lessons and finally the gear that i use to make all this magic uh please note guys today i'm filming with natural light so if there's inconsistencies um live with it <laughs> <laughs> so why did I start YouTube? I started YouTube because I am passionate about makeup and passionate about traveling and YouTube is the best platform for me to share both passions with people and that is how my channel came about. Second reason is because I force myself to get out of my comfort zone a lot when it comes to YouTube, it is good for boosting my confidence and boosting my self-esteem. And that is also the reason I started it because I wanted to reduce uh, my insecurities and my self-doubt. And I thought, how about I do something I've never done before and if I'm good at it, I'll start feeling good. And that is actually what is happening and I'm super happy about that. The third reason is I want a secondary income so i'm like let me try make money from the things i actually enjoy doing and that is the three reasons why i started youtube second uh topic is positives of being a youtuber so um i love being on youtube because i can connect and impact people through beauty so basically beauty with a purpose so i want my channel to be uh the kind of channel where someone can go to to learn how to do makeup but also learn some life skills and also like feel like they have like a sister that is constantly giving them advice and yeah like and just to build a community with people Another positive is I am a strong believer in constantly growing, constantly improving your skills. And YouTube really, really helps me with that because if it, it pushes me out of my comfort zone. Uh, I mean, my editing skills, my makeup skills, my speaking skills, um, my confidence, uh, my consistency, my commitment, uh, my determination, all those things are areas in my life where I'm constantly growing and I mean what um, what's more positive than growth basically so yeah that's a fantastic positive the third thing um, is because I'm a small youtuber um, another positive of being a small beginner youtuber is not a lot of people know you so people are not out here making random videos attacking <laughs> attacking me so uh i'm still like i don't have any cyber bullying because not a lot of people know me so i still have a lot of peace in that regard third topic is struggles of being a small beginner youtuber oh y'all this list is like extra extra like it's longer than uh the other ones and because there have been a lot of struggles and there will always be more struggles when you're starting something new that you've never done before so the first thing is uh being consistent with filming editing and putting out content i mean on average i put out like two videos a month mm bad 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 to me 
so i want to get to four to eight videos a month which will be once a week or twice a week i'm really really hoping and aiming for uploading twice a week and for that reason it impacts my second struggle which is growing my community and my channel i feel that because i haven't been very consistent in the last six months yes guys i've been doing youtube for six months um has resulted in me basically having no to a very minimal growth on my channel because i feel like people intend to forget that i actually have a channel because if i don't upload frequently i mean if i upload every two weeks or i go a month without uploading and i'm new uh i don't really have a community yet that will like understand that i'm not uploading uh so yeah that is uh, like it really really has a bad impact on on my growth but i've seen that i'm being more consistent not as consistent as i would like to be but with the little improvement that i've done i am slightly growing and i'm happy about that uh being creative and confident in my ideas and content and the reason for this is because of there are so many uh beauty influencers and beauty youtubers sometimes i feel like so many like people have put out so much content about the same thing and sometimes i struggle to mellify it oh yeah i just came up with the word yay <laughs> so just adding my spin on topics that have been done before sometimes i intend to like have this little doubt will people watch it am i like one of like a thousand videos um you know so sometimes i intend to like and i have to constantly remind myself that no you know what like mellify it put your spin on it and just you know what record the things that you want to record and the things that you love so yeah um another struggle is having time to film and edit because i have a full-time job i go to the gym i have to cook and keep my household uh tidy and running sometimes it gets a little tiny bit tricky because then i have to film like very late and i still have to wake up at like five in the morning to go to work but it's getting easier because i am basically not giving myself a choice i am like recording editing and i'm basically treating it like a business so that is making it much easier and it also helped me it also helps me to um like de-stress especially like you know from work and stuff like that y'all i'm sorry if i keep looking down but you know that's where the master plan is biggest biggest struggle is the quality of my videos i am not satisfied with the quality of my videos and the reason for that is i feel like i invest so much in equipment for me to have the kind of quality that i have that it just it makes me so upset and what makes me more upset is i don't have a solution because i don't know anyone that can help me and i've tried to watch youtube videos so that is really really frustrating like i mean all the way from like i don't have a backdrop because i don't really know what i'm like what i should do there my settings on my camera to give me like the best crisp quality that's like trash um and also editing sometimes like i'm still learning so i'm really struggling i feel like that's the biggest struggle and guys i hope that i'm not coming across as ungrateful and complaining and nagging but it really really it makes me so sad like to a point where i actually cry sometimes because i'm like yo i've just i'm trying to do like a lot i'm trying to invest in this and i'm just from a quality perspective i'm not ripping the results or, or the fruits of my labor so that makes me sad number four the lessons i've learned on youtube do not do anything for money so even though i want youtube to be a, like an income stream i feel that it was at the forefront of why i was doing it and nah fam like that will never work if you're doing anything solely for money you will get miserable because money is only good for a certain period it's like in my scenario i'm not even making like one cent 
so now think about like you've been doing this thing for six months and all you're doing is gunning for money and you're not making money i mean i was like literally like literally i almost gave up like i was like literally on the verge of giving up and i had to like step back and look at why are you doing this you know like don't do anything for money that is not who you are i don't go to work for money yes i want a salary but if all i did was go to work for money i'd be very miserable so i enjoy my job so also i'm like you know what do the same thing with youtube uh because it's a passion and you did it because you wanted to share your life and your passions why all of a sudden are you focused on just making money like this is not you this is not aligned with your purpose this is not aligned with your soul and your spirit it doesn't make you feel good so why are you doing it so for any person that is doing anything whether it is youtube whether it's work whatever as much as yes you want to make money from it but if you're going to put your passion and your efforts into something uh like don't do it for money because you will really give up quickly when you are not making that money boom um another lesson is i should film the videos that i would watch so i shouldn't just do something for cloud or clout or however you all pronounce it in this instagram twitter streets uh but i should do something i should film things i would want to watch things that speak to me speak to my soul and that will just i believe it will show people that i'm authentic that i'm real i'm human and with all that i really hope that people will understand me better they will relate to me better and they will subscribe to my channel this one my last and biggest lesson do not compare yourself to nobody right don't compare yourself to anyone don't compare yourself to other youtubers okay we're talking about youtube uh don't compare yourself to other youtubers i did that <laughs> girl no didn't didn't benefit me i ended up depressed sad uh low self-esteem self-doubt self-sabotage all these negative feelings because i was comparing my six month journey to someone else's years of investment years of of work and they like some people do this full time so they have more time to do this they work more hours on youtube whereas i only assign or basically allocate sorry about that allocate two three hours a day uh on youtube and i don't even do it every day where someone like some people do it like daily so i learned that the hard way because you know what you'd like log on to youtube or log on to instagram and see people growing thriving buffalo risha and then when are you like can't do what's wrong with me like you know i've been doing this i've been trying but i'm not growing but also is, are you really putting in 100 percent are you really putting in that effort or are you putting the bare minimum and hoping to get the same results as someone that is putting their all into something so that is my biggest biggest lesson is don't compare yourself to anyone so i'm currently not comparing myself to anyone instead i look at other youtubers and i am motivated i am inspired and i just look at them with so much respect and i'm just like instead of hating i am going to learn from them and i'm gonna allow myself to be inspired by them and yeah that is the reason why you know what i don't compare myself to people anymore so those are the lessons so far our last and final topic is um the equipment that i use i don't know why i took a pause there <laughs> but the equipment that i use so i'm gonna talk first about this camera here which is the canon m100 this is the camera i'm currently using for vlogging but before i got my current camera that i'm filming with now i use this this is my baby this is uh i mean 
this is a good camera guys like anyone that is starting out there canon m100 is is good and because it's mirrorless it's tiny and you can use it for like actual sit down videos and vlogging i mean so when you're starting out this is a good investment it's 5000 rand i think at the moment and you can change the lenses you obviously need an adapter to use normal canon lenses but you can up upgrade your lens without having to upgrade your camera so this is very good and i usually use it with this um tripod for vlogging and also taking selfies so this was my this is my baby my first baby then another thing oh my favorite thing that my hubby got me is i use this canon remote to uh, record stop start stop videos another i feel like this is so important and critical when you're using uh especially uh, like these kind of cameras and doing sit down videos instead of like reaching over and whatever you can just stop it and you guys won't even see that i'm pressing this then my camera is the canon atd i currently got it i'm struggling with perfecting the settings but it's a very very good camera and it is an upgrade from this one so once i get the settings correct i think the footage will be like more crisp clear and sharper so yeah once we perfect that you all should be ready for better looking videos then i have a rodeo mic i think that's what it's called and yeah i got this from i got everything from take a lot oh except this i got this from macro for a hundred rand and i have two panel lights which i'm not filming with today but with all my videos i use that i have two panel led lights i don't have a ring light i might get it i might not uh i'll think about it but for now i'm using panel led lights that i got from broadcast lighting in kailami so yeah guys that is basically my gear yeah that's what i use to like film all this magic so yeah guys that is the end of the topic um yeah like i said i've been doing this for six months and i've grown so much i mean looking at my first video hey struggle yo 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 struggle quality i shame i never guys it was just like compared to to now but i'm really really proud of how much i've improved and how much i've done and the investment guys and yeah so that is it from me i'm really hoping this thing is not too long because you know i can talk forever and ever and ever thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you in my next video